the People Rule Foundation, a civic group favoring direct democracy, concluded a hunger strike today without getting the DPP to agree to quickly amend Taiwan's referendum act. President Tsai Ing-wen pledged yesterday to pass the bill by the end of the year, but that didn't satisfy the protesters. They believe the act requires too many signatures to initiate a referendum and too high a voter turnout for a referendum to be valid. Former DPP Chairman Lin Xiong appeared outside DPP headquarters today and sang songs with volunteers before joining their hunger strike. Taiwan, 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 Taiwan. DPP Deputy Secretary General Zhuo Rongtai went out to greet Lin, but the two sides remained at odds over when to put the Referendum Act amendment on the legislative agenda. Chairwoman Tsai Ing-wen clearly stated yesterday that if we can't get to it in this session, then we will try to get the Referendum Act amendment and several other major bills related to democratic development done by the end of this year. Our demand has always been for the Referendum Act amendment to be passed before May 20th. That has never changed. All it will take is one or two meetings of the full legislature or cross-party consultations to get the bill to a second reading, and the bill will be able to pass very quickly. Former Vice President Annette Liu joined the protesters in the afternoon and then joined Lin Xiong in circling DPP headquarters three times. A statement was then read declaring the hunger strike over. In 2016, the DPP won a majority of seats in the legislature. Everybody in society thought that revising the Referendum Act would be easy and it would be quickly passed. But after more than a year, we have not seen the DPP take action to amend the law. Instead, it seems like they're just going through the motions. The People Rule Foundation contends that the Referendum Act is not in conflict with other bills and that it's time for the DPP, which controls all the levers of government, to deal with the issue.